Welcome to the Elevator World News Podcast. The sixth edition of the Inspection Handbook by Zach McCain is a complete revision that references code changes through ASME A17.1-2013 and A17.3-2015. The handbook is an invaluable reference tool that puts need-to-know information at the inspector's fingertips, and it is filled with tables featuring the effective date of code changes for elevators, escalators, and moving walks. Get your copy at elevatorbooks.com. This is your daily industry news update for March 29th, 2016. In today's news, Jim Turner takes on greater responsibility with Lurch Bates Incorporated. Four mixed-use towers may be built in Frankfurt's financial district. And NASA International scholarship application period is now open. Lurch Bates Incorporated has promoted Jim Turner to Vice President of Modernization for the Elevator Consulting Group. Turner joined Lurch Bates in 2014 as project manager for the Great Lakes region, headquartered in Chicago. Described by Lurch Bates President Bart Steffen as a respected leader in the industry who has been instrumental in the company's growth, Turner has more than 24 years of industry experience and will report directly to Stefan. Design Boom reports a quartet of 228-meter-tall mixed-use towers is planned by Dutch firm UN Studio in the financial district of Frankfurt, Germany. The buildings are set to contain approximately 600 apartments, along with retail, hotel, and restaurant space. The first building is expected to be delivered in 2020. The edifices will be the tallest residential and office buildings in Frankfurt and are expected to help revitalize the site, the former location of the Deutsche Bank. NASA International is accepting applications until May 31st for its 2016 scholarships from high school seniors who are the children or grandchildren of active NASA members in good standing and have applied to at least one college or university. The two U.S. scholarships, named in honor of Floyd J. Rommel, are in the amount of $3,000 U.S. dollars each. The Canadian region's two scholarships, named in honor of John Steele, are in the amount of $1,000 Canadian dollars each. For more industry-related information, visit us at elevatorworld.com. And for more information on job site safety in the elevator industry, check out elevatorworld.com slash safety.